Okay, so I've gone ahead and airbrushed my background. Um, this time I've used denim and a couple drops of black in it. I don't think you needed to because I didn't want it to come out too blue, but denim's going to be, I think, fine with the blue that the pitch black pulls. What do you want? So this is kind of what I'm going for. I thought the, the green would be fun and it, I just forgot about the blue that comes out and it doesn't really go well with it, but this is the idea I'm wanting to do. So, what I've done so far is do the background. Can y'all see him? He is just wearing it out. Okay. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the pitch black here. I think also the brown that the pitch black has in it will look good against the blue. Okay, so the pitch black is all I'm going to use. Get this dry. And fill my alcohol up with. Okay, sorry about that. I had to fill my alcohol up. Uh, all right, let's go. Will you quit? <laughs> he is doing everything he can to get me to rub him. I'm trying to get some long ones on this side. I'm not putting enough. There we go.
some brown over here. Let's see. Not too bad. Yep, I think I like that. Okay. I'm going to do one more one more petal. I really want a long one over here. I don't like that, so probably should have left it alone, but keep going. You can always correct these things. Okay, I am stopping. So, let me do with a black <laughs> alcohol marker. Uh, this. I really want to make this tall. Like this one commands a little something. did on another one a gray stem. I really like that. So it doesn't really demand a lot of attention, but it's there. Okay, I'm going to go spray this and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back from spraying. And that was the Kmart varnish. It's sealed now. Um, Guess what? Yep, oh, there it is. Yeah, for sake. It was stuck in there. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do, I guess, the white. And just do it like we typically do. I want to do a bigger one, but I don't have a pen next to me. They make these in different sizes, which is really nice. And the area I have it marked is what I typically will make lighter because of this light being on this side. I can do that. And then this is going to be a little darker because that's where the shadow is. Now, I think what I want to do is see what brown is close to this brown. I'm not sure what that just... Oh, look. Hmm. There we go. Okay. This and that. I'll mix it up. Uh, no, that's not the right brown. Ah, 
kind of close. Better than that other one. Let's see if I have another brown. No. It is. And when you swatch out your markers, make sure you do it on, on whatever paper you're going to use them on. Because they change. I just kind of want a little color that matched. And all right, I think we are done. So I'm going to spray this, get it sealed back up. And hopefully this gave you some more color ideas and ideas on backgrounds and fun things like that. And y'all go have fun.